Hello again, this is the Wastewater Tutor, and today's lesson is going to be on chlorine demand. So what is chlorine demand? Well, that is demand is equal to dose minus the residual. So what we'll do is we'll take this tank of secondary effluent. In it, there's stuff made up of organic material like bacteria, inorganic material like ammonia and urine, kittens, okay, maybe not the kittens, but other things that will react with chlorine. And all that reactive stuff exerts a chlorine demand and uses up free chlorine. To figure out your chlorine demand, you'll need to know two other terms. Your chlorine dose is what you put into that tank of effluent. As soon as you dose that water, the chlorine reacts or gets consumed by all that stuff in that effluent. All that action was a chlorine demand. Now, if you put in more chlorine than what is demanded by that stuff, then that excess of chlorine becomes your chlorine residual. Now, residual also means what's left over. So by finding the difference between dosing and the residual after at least 30 minutes of contact time, you get your demand. So let's look at that again. So here's your tank that has a bunch of material that exerts some amount of mystery chlorine demand. We apply a chlorine dose of seven parts per million. And after 30 minutes of contact time, we measure the excess chlorine that's left behind, and then we get some chlorine residual of two parts per million. How much chlorine was used up? Well, that used up chlorine or chlorine demand was equal to five parts per million. And that's your chlorine demand. Hope that helps. Thank you again for watching. This is the Wastewater Tutor, and you can always reach me at wastewatertutor.com. I welcome comments and emails on the website, so feel free to contact me. Until next time.